Hello everyone, I am Melissa Ashley and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so my hair, can you see this grey? Can you see it? Can you see it? It's no use. I'm reaching for the bleach. I'm going to try and whack some highlights through to break this up because I feel like I've got grey and then the tones that I had put through it like back in September. So I'm going to use a cap. I know it's not necessarily the most kind of exact method because you don't quite know where you're pulling from. But I'm going to do that and then once I've pulled through I'm going to apply the bleach to the ends first of all because they've had colours and things popped on them for about 10 minutes and then put it through to the roots and I'm going to try and get it past the orange stage. I've watched so many Brad Mondo videos that I hope I've learned enough. But we're going to go for it and then I do have some like purple shampoo and then I've bought some tone correcting conditioner as well to hopefully take anything that's brassy away. If it turns out to be a massive disaster let's be honest I'm gonna go out and get a box dye and whack it all over. I just opened the pack which is Jerome Russell Blonde Maximum Highlighting Kit and what you get in there is you get your peroxide. Oh it says 40 vol on there so I might be watering that down a little bit. Some bleach, powder bleach, a cap, a little bowl, some instructions, and then it's got the teeniest, tiniest little tinting brush stroke hook ever. A cap to wear to keep the heat in and then a conditioning shampoo but I won't be using this because I've got the purple tint stuff. Also I have left my hair a little bit because I know you shouldn't do it on freshly washed hair. Inside the cap, there is a metal hook as well. Oh, thank God for that, because I thought I was going to have to use that plastic thing. This is better. What I'm going to do is, while I'm brushing my hair back to get it in the cap, just so it kind of stays in position, I'm going to put it in a low pony. As much as possible, because then as I'm putting the cap on, the hair should hopefully sort of stay in the same position as it's brushed into. So I've just popped it in a low pony. And then, and now I'm gonna pull the hair out. to my head as I can possibly get it. Pulling these really tight. Oh my God, don't laugh at how much fat roll just fell out of my chin. This is a look. Thumbnail.
let's go into the bar frame, mix up the bleach and pop it on. Welcome to my bathroom. I've just put you in my cupboard and I have a mirror here. Oh, hello. <laughs> in the little bowl that it comes in. I finished putting it all through the mid lens and the ends and I'm gonna wait 10 minutes now and then start running it through the roots wish me luck okay so it's been 10 minutes what we've done is we've wrapped my ponytail up in cling film to make sure that none of this bleach gets onto it so now I'm going to um, pop the rest over. I think I'm going to put my gloves on for this one because my hands are starting to get a bit dry now. As you can see that it's starting to definitely go into the orange stage which is fantastic but Need to make sure every strand has bleach on because let's be honest, <laughs> mistakes were made when we were pulling through. So we've got to make sure that we do this bit, we, I, will do this bit the best I can. So that's that. And now I'm just going to pop that in a hoop. I'm going to take off the gloves because I have a cap here somewhere. So I've got cling film on. I'm going to put the hat on as well. But I'm not going to like put a hairdryer around my head or anything because that will dry it out. Whereas this will be my heat from my head just coming through. So let's do that and then Pulled that over. And just clip it at the back. Done. Now we wait. Oh, 45 minutes in. Yeah. Stand up. We are definitely in orange stage still but we seem to be getting we're like over the bright orange and starting to go yellow yes an hour in and i think i'm stuck in gingerland i think i'm gonna lift this and see what's going on wow okay that's lifted <laughs> that's lifted but this is still orange but that's definitely getting there but this is the ends of my hair so I'm not too shocked but look how white this is I'm gonna give it just a smidge longer and then we'll wash it and we'll add the purple shampoo and see what that does to it oh, let's hope get your fingers crossed for me it's time it's coming off let's take that off take that off and this is what I'm left with god it's really warm really warm so
Okay. Oh, let's take that back out. This is a look, right? Well, got the blonde at the front, didn't I? <laughs> Look at it! Right. I'm obviously going to wash this properly now. Put some fucking purple on it, I hope it works. And I'll see you soon. <laughs> Welcome back. I've just had a shower. Washed my hair. I haven't seen it. I haven't looked. Let's have a look. Oh. Definitely orange. What's um gentle I have got a really wide comb here what have I done <laughs> do you know what though I don't mind I've done everything to my hair in the past I'm quite you know I'll give stuff a go I used to have like the whole this used to be bright orange a la Jerry Halliwell and Spice Girls days I've had my hair blue I've had my hair black I have had my hair blonde but I did get it professionally done. I'll see you soon. Well, here we are. It's done. Daylight. So, the really heavy blonde at the front, I, um, I think it's a bit too much for me. And mistakes were made. <laughs> However, oh sorry, Buster's just come in. I think once I get a proper grey toner on it to calm it down, I think that's all right actually. What are we thinking? What am I? Yes, Queen. Yeah, I can live with this totally until I get a toner. <laughs> so this is my end of my video. So please give it a like, subscribe down below, and don't do this at home, kids, on your own. Because it's a bloody nightmare. At least get someone to help you. And I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Hello, I'm back again. So I'm getting as close to the window as I can. This is quite yellow and a bit much. So today I'm going to try and put some grey. Not my washing drying in the background there. This is what we're going to go with. So I've got to wash my hair, dry it. And then once it's been washed and dried, then I pop this on. I've washed my hair and dried my hair. Now, as you can see, it's, it is pretty uneven, I'm not going to lie. Um, it's just too yellow. And it doesn't suit my colouring, this colour. So this is what it looks like. And I've got some gloves combs and all that jazz so I guess I need to start popping this through my hair it can't be worse right it cannot be worse right so I'm 43 for Christ's sake what am I up to so let's squirt some of this oh okay satisfying let's just start off with a little bit we can add more when required can't we so the most intense part is this front bit so I think I'm gonna start here around the hairline <laughs>
this is obviously going to turn out to be even disastrous than the blonde. But it was like put enough on so it would froth up. And I haven't even got enough to cover my hair, let alone for it to froth up. So I'm going to give it 20 minutes. Back soon. I've rinsed it off. No idea how it looks right now. I haven't taken off the towel yet. Just patting the hair as much as possible. Oh, it's calmed down, right? It's not freaking yellow by the look anymore. Let me dry this and come back to you. Came out here so you can see it in the daylight. Basically, got green hair now. <laughs> I don't really care. Quarantine hair, who cares? It's better than yellow. God, definitely. <laughs> green and grey. Green and grey. Mistakes were made. Learn your lessons, kids. <laughs>